molecules which can be magnetized or are attracted towards magnets are known as magnetic materials. Magnetic materials generate electric power, energize electric motors, reproduce sound and visual images and store information. Okay. This all are the uses of your magnetic materials. Even hard disk, it is uh, information is stored because of magnetic materials. But classification of magnetic materials. So magnetic materials are classified as first one non-retentive or soft magnetic materials second one retentive or hard magnetic materials special alloy materials we'll understand them one by one later on okay let's go ahead soft magnetic materials this material includes ferrous product all ferrous product ferrous means fein they those are cast iron cast steel sheet steel silicon content sheet steel these materials are largely used for core of electromagnets in electrical machines and transformers which you have seen many times right they may lose their magnetism very easily meaning the moment the field is magnetization field is stopped or made to zero it will lose its magnetism so those are the soft magnet material as you know that they are also known as retain non retentive right they are non retentive this other name of uh, for uh, your uh, is a non retentive okay they are non retentive magnetic materials okay let's go ahead hard magnetic materials most hard materials are made up of steel alloy okay containing some tungsten chromium or cobalt okay the materials are example alnico alcomax alkino umax etc we will study about some of them this material are used for making permanent magnets why will why because they may not lose they may not lose their magnetism easily so that is why the hard magnets are retentive and they can be used to form a permanent magnet so the other name for this is can be taken as retentive magnetism or retentive magnetic material because they retain the magnetic field into them even the external applied field is zero or not applied or collapses okay that is about your soft and hard magnetic materials next special alloy material this material includes grain oriented alloy prepared under heat treatment okay or control heat treatment they are prepared this material are used for cyclic magnetizations well, then uh, examples are metal, perme alloy, 78% nickel iron alloy are some of the examples of this category. Yeah? Let's go ahead. There are some losses in magnetism like in any conductor when you pass a current, uh, power dissipation takes place, power loss takes place. So also in magnetic uh, understanding there's losses in magnetic materials also. For establishing magnetic field, energy has to be supplied that's everybody know about it okay when current pass through any conductor the magnetic field is produced around it a simple way okay so for establish a magnetic field energy has to be supplied the stored energy is returned to circuit when field collapses so whatever energy we have supplied once once the supply is off the energy should reach, reach back to the supply right to the circuit when field collapses but not all energy supplied can be returned. Why? Because part of it is lost in the form of heat. So this is a loss. It is called as stasis loss. Okay. So below is the diagram. We'll try to understand what is stasis loss about, or stasis loss or stasis loop. Let's go ahead. You can see in the diagram. This is an example of stasis loop. So to magnetize the substance, we are going to apply some magnetic field in this direction. Okay, in addition, or no magnetic field is applied, there is no magnetization. So the your uh, field will be in this position at the center of your this is zero. No magnetization, no applied magnetic field, no applied magnetic field, no magnetization above anything zero. Okay, now what we will do is that we will start from zero and try to apply okay uh, magnetic field towards it. Okay, so. So we start from zero here 
as you go and apply the magnetic field, as you go and apply the magnetic field, it gets magnetized, 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 and it reaches to point A where it becomes maximum magnetization. So thereafter, it goes to saturation. You want to increase the magnetic field, uh, applied magnetic field or inducive field, the magnetization will remain constant in that substance. That is called saturations. Thereafter, nothing more can happen. Okay. Now, uh, in this case, what if it's done? That all magnetization are taken in this field. Like, you can take this. Okay. So all moment all magnetic development aligned direction so, okay so let's go under so saturations now if you want to make the magnetization to zero so what do you have to do you have to reduce the magnetic field okay we have to reduce the inducive magnetic field so it has to reach back to the same position right it has to reach from a to zero but it doesn't happen because this substance is going to retain some magnets in it so they follow this path so they follow this path because they retain the magnet so it will go to here so you see, even applied magnetic field is zero here, or inducing field is zero here. Still, there is a magnetization here, right? You see point C here. That is the some magnetization is retained. That is because it is a retained substance, is a hard magnetic materials. Now, if you want to make the magnetization again to zero, somehow we want to make the substance back to the same as it was earlier to zero. So now we apply the magnetic field. Or you have applied magnetic field in this direction, inducing now we apply the magnetic inducing magnetic field in this direction. So it will follow this path. Okay. See, it will go and reach to this point. Now see, now the magnetization is zero. In this case, the magnetization is zero. So, okay, and and this value which we apply to make the magnetic field zero, it is the coercivity of the substances. Okay. Further, we increase in the same direction. It will follow this path and it goes to magnetization and saturations. Okay, to this point E. Thereafter, if we increase the more applied magnetic field, still it will be get saturated. No more further magnetization takes place. Now the magnetization has taken in this directions. Okay, this direction. Earlier it was like this. Now it is done to this path. Okay. Now again we do what we do is we try to reduce the magnetic field to reduce the inducing magnetic field to zero so that expect expecting that the magnetization will become zero. But even though we are going to decrease now magnetic field inducing magnetic field, you will find that it will not go back to the O but you will follow this path which is showing some retentive magnetic field here or the magnetic field is retained because that is a retentive value of this magnetic material. Further increasing in the same direction, it will go again, it will go back to the same position. So again, it will go to the saturations. Okay. So this is how your uh, magnetization and demagnetization system happens and this is the one of the loss in the magnetic substances. Okay. So they follow like this path. You must know the path very carefully, very correctly and thereafter it follows the same path. Okay, so this is what is called a stereosis loop for understanding the stereosis. Let's go ahead. When magnetic field is subject to rapidly oriented magnetic field, there is a rapid and continuous expansion and contraction of materials. This is called magnetostriction. That means if you take magnetic material like this, okay, when supplied to when subjected to your alternate magnetic field, happen this will expand, contract, expand, contract, expand, contract as per your. Um, uh, applied or alternative magnetic field okay expand contract this uh, property is called as magnetostriction magnetostriction this is called as magnetostriction remember this is the one of term should remember when you are studying about magnetic materials okay let's go ahead uh, okay in magnetic material the loss can be minimized See, now there are magnetic losses i told you one of the steric loss other is the eddy currents okay this can be decreased or minimized how it cannot be zero totally, but you can always minimize how either adding or increasing silicon percentage. This will reduce the uh, magnetic loss. Second one, laminating the materials. Once you laminate the material, it in resistance will increase. Since resistance increases, the eddy currents will be less, so your uh, magnetic loss will be minimized. Right. Third one, carefully controlling the rolling and annealing the sheet. This also will help in minimizing the magnetic losses. Retentivity. As we know that we already know, we discussed in the study, there is retentive and coercity. We will understand or define uh, define them. The ability of substances okay, to retain, see the word retain or resist magnetization. It is measured as the strength of magnetic field that remains in sample, that remains in sample even after removal of external reducing field that is a retentivity 
ओके सो द एबिलिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस टू रिटेन और रेजिस्ट मैग्नाइजेशन इट इज मेजर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मैग्नीफील डेट रिमेन्स इन सैंपल इवन आफ्टर द रिमोल ऑफ एक्सटर्नल रिड्यूसिंग फील्ड ओके से फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ यू अप्लाइड मैग्नीफील इज जीरो ओके और से नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर अप्लाइड मैग्नाइजेशन इज जीरो ओके और इधर वे एंड देन यूल फाइन दैट द मैग्नाइजेशन इन दैट मटेरियल इज इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो मीनिंग इट इज नॉट जीरो बट इट स्टील विल हैव सम मैग्नीफील दैट इज अ वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इज अ रिटेंटिविटी ओके लेट्स गो हेड कोविड सी वी टी द मैग्नी मटेरियल इंटेंसिटी मैग्नीफील इंटेंसिटी रिक्वायर टू रिड्यूस द मैग्नाइजेशन ऑफ फेरम सब्सट मटेरियल फ्रॉम कंप्लीट सेचुरेशन टू जीरो इज नॉन एज कोवर्सिविटी माइल्ड स्टील ओके यू कैन सी द नाइस पिक्चर ऑफ माइल्ड स्टील दिस इज हाउ द माइल्ड स्टील लुक लाइक लेट्स गो हेड लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द माइल्ड स्टील एंड इज प्रॉपर्टी इट कंटेन्स वन टू सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ क्रोमियम जीरो टू पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन कार्बन एंड रिमेनिंग जीरो आयन ओके दैट्स वाई इज द माइल्ड स्टील प्रॉपर्टीज इट इंक्रीजेज स्टेरिस लॉस ओके वन थिंग इट इंक्रीजेज द स्टेरिस लॉस दैट्स अ कंसर्न इट लोअर्स द पॉमेबिलिटी फाइन इट कैन फॉर्ज एंड फेब्रिकेटेड इट कैन हीट ट्रीटेड अप टू एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इट हैज कोवर्सिटी ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एम इट रिटेंटिविटी इज वन पॉइंट जीरो वेब पर मीटर स्क्वेर इट हैज एनर्जी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड जूल्स पर मीटर क्यूब इट इज लेस ससेप्टेबल टू क्रैकिंग इट यूज इन मशीन योग मैग्नेट ब्रेक्स रिलेज एंड पोल पीसीस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैगनेट इज अलिकॉन स्टील we can see now we added some silicon into steel so it become a silicon let's see still in this alloy silicon content is 4 to 6% let's start understand property its permeability is maximum that's very nice it's eliminates aging so even the time duration goes on above many years passes still you find this substance still look like a it reduces the electrical rest that's good it reduces magnetization but magnetization reduces to some extent eddy current losses and steric losses are very low that's because of re increase in uh, resistivity this helps okay eddy current losses and steric losses it imparts hardness resists elastic limit and increases resistivity that is about the silicon steel property application it is used for magnetic cores of transformers in large alternators magnetic poles of motors and generators momental so this is just how momental could look like momental it has 75% nickel 2% chromium and 5% copper and 18% iron this combined forms a momental properties it has curie temperature of 430 degree celsius okay uh, if you take this momental ma ma metal magnets made up of momental and if you increase the or, or treat it now with the temperature above 400 degree celsius it will lose its magnetism okay it will lose its magnetization and it will become just an ordinary substance like paramagnetic substances okay so that is the curie temperature it's treated up to 1100 degree celsius it has very low steric losses that's nice it has very high value of permeability at low induction intensity that's good it has coercive force of 1.6 am or tesla it has uh, resistivity of 56 into to minus 2 ohm meter at a relative density of 8.76 gram per centimeter cube it has maximum permeability of 1 lakh 10000 application it used for a manufacturing current transformer okay this is what i do remember about the momentum let's go ahead alnico the name itself tells you aluminum nickel and cobalt alnico we can see this is substance made from the uh, nickel this is what it used for uh, it is also used in this fashion so nice so beautiful and for every purpose everywhere you can use this all are magnets alnico let's see uh alnico it contains is uh, 12% cobalt 70% nickel 10% aluminum that is called alnico okay and 6%, 6% and 6% copper and 55% iron that's alnico so it is used uh, in all cases where permanent cast iron magnet can be used that means it can use almost everywhere everywhere okay properties it can be cast fabricated as seen is in the picture it is heat treated up to 1200 degrees celsius it can cool in air that's very nice very beautiful it has coercive force of 44800 am wow it has receptivity of 0.7 weber per meter square it has maximum energy product of 
1600 joules per meter cube it is hard and brittle it is hard at the same time that is very beautiful shiny as seen in the picture also just few seconds before right so that is about your alinko and it is light in weight application it can be used all cases where a permanent cast iron magnet can be used so it can be used actually in everywhere that's about your alinko thank you